Here we go. This is uh, Mr. Saul. I'm going to talk to you about measurement today. Flip this around. I am here. So we will uh, bring this back down to the paper here. We're actually going to do a little review. So I'm going to show you on the screen or actually draw with you today uh, the inch. And so we're going to talk about this. We may have talked about it in class, but we'll also use it as a review. So I'm going to look at um, drawing this while we talk about it. And what I'm going to do is draw one large inch. And so I'm going to just simply take a ruler here and draw this like this and then bring ends on it like this. Zero on one side and one on the other like this. So what I'm looking at is an inch. So an inch is only about this big. It's only from about the tip of your finger till this second part right here. So it's not a very big space. But we're going to take it and blow it up really big on our paper so we can take a little closer look at it. All right. So the easiest measurement to look at is, of course, the middle. And the middle is of course, the half an inch. So I'm going to go ahead and find close to the center. I'm sure I won't be exactly perfect. I'm going to make a line that's really long and I'm going to label it one half. Okay. So we can talk about halves in a lot of different ways, right? If we can talk about I'm going to eat half of a pizza or I'm going to watch half of a football game, um, but we're going to look at linear measurement, right? Going from right to left here uh, or measuring something uh, like a house or a board or something like that. So if we look at uh, taking this inch and finding half of it, we're going to find it directly in the middle. If we're talking about football, we would talk about halftime or half the game or the 50-yard line being right in the middle. Okay. Uh, when we talk about quarters, quarters is always going to be talking about four. Okay. So an easy way to remember that is if I gave you four quarters, right, four quarters equals a dollar. Right? If we cut a pizza up into quarters, uh, there are going to be four equal parts, right? So we're going to take our linear measurement from zero to one and break that up into four equal parts. So we'll take each equal half and we're going to cut that into a part on this side and then one on this side. Okay, one, two, three, four, four equal parts called quarters. If we take those four equal parts and we take one out of the four equal parts, we're going to have one fourth, all right? One two, three, this one would be three fourths or three out of the four equal parts. One, two, three, four equal parts, two quarters equal a half, one, two, three, three out of the four parts equals three quarters. The next measurement we're going to talk about is taking this inch and breaking it up into equal parts called eights. We have four equal parts, one, two, three, four. So if we cut each one of those equal parts into um, the half part of that or the middle, we're going to make these lines a little bit shorter than our quarter marks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight equal parts called eights. Now we're going to do the same thing we did with the quarters and we're going to label them like so. One out of now the eight equal parts. We quickly learn that two eights equals one fourth. Math people, if you know two eights, all right, is going to reduce down to one fourth. So we're always going to call it one fourth. All right. One, two, three, eights. One, two, three, four. Four equal parts or four out of the eight equal parts equals a half. We're always going to call it one half. One, two, three, four, five, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or seven out of the eight equal parts. Okay. We have one final step, and that one final step is uh, the smallest step, and that is sixteenths. So we're going to go ahead and break those those eights into equal parts called sixteenths. They're going to be the little tiny marks. If I say find a sixteenth uh, or sixteenth, then I automatically want you to think little tiny marks. Think about the smallest marks on a ruler. Now, in the past, we've always went this way and simply walked across and measured them this way. I'm going to give you a couple pointers that I think will be pretty helpful. If I ask you what the first little mark would be, you'd say that is one out of the sixteen equal parts. If we count all these up, right, we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight and eight is 16. 
So that would make sense that this would be 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 out of the 16 equal parts, right? Meaning I have almost the whole inch. I have 15 out of the 16 equal pieces. So the first one's pretty easy. That's the smallest one, 1 16. The largest one at 15 16 is clear down here on the end. And now let's talk about the two in the middle. We said that we have eight equal parts on this side and eight equal parts on this side. So if this is 8 16 okay, we know that, again, 8 16 still equals a half, right? We know that from our math. If this is 8, one more would be 9 16 okay? If this is 9, this is 8, it would make sense that this would be 7. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 16 12, 13 16 okay? We can go back this way and do this two different ways. 1, 2, 3 16 4, 5 16 Notice all of our little marks are 16s, okay? Our next longest are our 8s. There's only four of them. We have our quarters, 1, 2, 3, 4, and, of course, our half in the middle. Notice all the numbers on top are all odd. Make that observation so you know. All right? so this is the inch. And the really cool thing about inches is uh, we have one inch, right? And then all the little marks in there. And then we have two inches. And this thing just repeats itself again. And then we have three inches. And it just repeats itself over and over and over again. All right? So this is our inch. This is what we'll be working on for a couple of days. We'll do some assignments. Uh, this video is sponsored by Menards, all right, dedicated to service and quality. Have a great day. We will talk to you soon.